Hey guys, TT Vape here, and today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, there's already uh, reviews out for the Pro Kit and the Boost Plus, but I kind of just wanted to go over the differences in them. And if you just have the original Aegis Boost and you're thinking about upgrading to the 18650 option, um, these are kind of what you're you're looking at. The Boost Plus has been out. And I've had that. Um, it was very similar to the Boost, only added the 18650 and um, the capacity uh, was increased as well. So these are all age, from the Aegis line. They're all going to have the IP67 rating, shockproof, waterproof, drop proof. Um, the Boost Plus uses the G coils, which also work in the Boost. And um, USB. The difference with the Boost Pro Kit is now you're going to have 100 watts, which if you do use the 510, um, that can be an advantage. Also, the extended uh, wattage will also come in handy when you use the new P-coils that uh, come with the Aegis Boost Pro Kit which comes with a 0 0.2, 60 to 70 watts, and a 0 0.4, 50 to 60 watts. So a lot more wattage than the 25 to 33 and the 15 to 25 options that came with the Boost Plus. Um, we're also going to get a larger capacity, 6 mLs, which should last quite a while. And we now have Type-C, which is pretty sweet. So that's the boxes. Let's look at the actual devices. So right off the bat, you can see that the airflow is much larger on the Pro than the uh, Boost Plus. The, cap the capacity is larger. That drip tip is way, way bigger. And the coils are gonna be bigger. Um, Size-wise, they're identical. We just swapped the chip out and made a larger capacity uh, coil and, and pod. So the screens have been updated on the Boost Pro, which in a good way, in my opinion, it wasn't terrible on the Boost Plus, um, but it's a lot crisper and colorful on the Boost Pro. So I'm digging that. USB standard, USB type C. Both uh, single 18650, same uh, tab style from the bottom. So yeah, in the hand they're identical. Um, just some, some big changes in my opinion. So with that, we also have a Boost Plus RDTA, which is 4 ml capable. This will work on both devices. And the tank is compatible from your Boost Plus. It, so if you're still using the G coils, you can put them, put that pod on the new 100 watt device as well and still rock that out, that's no problem. So it's cool that they did that, but they added the uh, the P coils, which increase the wattage a lot. So this is the Boost Plus RDTA. Atomizer, a tool, four Clapton coils, which is sweet, some cotton, spare parts, and an 810 drip tip. Let's take this out and check it out. I'm going to open this up myself. User manual. Seems to be built pretty well. Same airflow, just the dial. You got honeycomb airflow on the top cap. A10 drip tip. Those O rings feel pretty good. Pretty easy build deck. Stick both your leads through here and then uh, tighten on your screws, cut it down, drop your wicks down. 
into there, not too long. And the last accessory I wanted to show you was this 510, which looks pretty nice. Stainless on the top. And this is gonna allow you to run any atomizer that you have. Um, and then, like I said, you got up to 100 watts you can run it at, which is super cool. So you got a little drop-proof, waterproof mod. And you can uh, run your eddies. So there's the, the mod. I would say it's a no-brainer to get the Pro. You get 60 more watts than the Plus. The screen is better. Uh, the RDTA is better. Uh, the mod device itself is 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 the same spec spec wise, but uh, you're getting a whole lot more and Type C. So that's what I got for you. Check it out, Geek Vape Aegis Boost Pro.